haters on me holding all these grudges, grudges. I'm around the world fulfilling my calling. Hi guys, my name is Ozzy, and today we're going to be doing a real versus fake comparison of the Air Max 1 slash 97 Sean Witherspoon. And for those of you that don't know, Sean Witherspoon is a guy from Virginia, and he has his own shop where he sells sneakers and clothes and all that good stuff. And basically, this whole shoe is just designed after his love for corduroy and 90s colors, which are all these bright, vibrant colors. And I'm just going to be going ahead and using some research that I got from fake underscore education. I'm going to put his name on the screen, and that's where most of my information is coming from, because he's the plug, he gets the fakes and the reels, so he gets to compare them before most of us do. But for those of you that don't follow him on Instagram, I thought I'd just put this video up on YouTube, because I know a lot of people are always looking for real versus fake stuff on YouTube, so just want to help you guys out. So, the first thing that we're going to do is, we're going to just go ahead and look at the inside of the box. Let's just go ahead and zoom in real quick, take the shoe off the box. You can see, the box has all these colors. But what you probably don't know is that the inside of the box right here is supposed to be a specific pattern. And the pattern is supposed to be from going from this color on the box right here to going down. And I'll put a picture of it on the screen. So basically look at this. This is what it's supposed to look like on the inside of the box. The pattern should be like this yellowish at the top. This, ye this yellow right here at the top. And then it will be this color. And then it'll be that. And then it'll be... Where is it? It just goes and switches back. But you'll see it in the... I'll put it in some corner of the screen so you guys can go ahead and look at it. So the color scheme for the inside of this box is completely wrong for this thick pair. And another thing that we're going to use is for real, for fake pairs, they're not going to have the Nike embroidery on the bag. It's actually supposed to have... The Nike logo, I'm going to put a picture up on the screen for everything that I'm talking about. It should have the Nike over the Nike swoosh. And obviously you see some Asian letters on the shoe. This shouldn't be like this because this isn't a Asian exclusive release. This is a American release. So you shouldn't see anything like this on the shoes. And let's see, what else did I go over? Yeah, basically... Even though this comes with the patches, none of the bags have the Nike branding on it, which they should have the Nike branding. And another thing that we're going to use is the toe box. As you can see right here, let me go ahead and focus real quick. The toe box has a very specific design that's supposed to have, not sorry, not a design, but a pattern. The reel doesn't have such deep grooves. The real pair actually has like thin lines, thin grooves from the toe box. And upwards so that's just another thing that you should look out for and then the next thing that we're going to go over is the lines on the shoe what you're going to need is a UV light and this is a UV light for those of you who are wondering you can get one of these for like five bucks on Amazon or eBay wherever you want to go and basically what the UV light does is it can use you can use it to find markings that aren't supposed to be on a shoe or object you can find like dirt stains and all the other stuff things that are usually hidden to the human eye so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a picture of the screen for fake pairs. They're going to have like, they're going to have marks on the stitching. As you can see right here, let me go ahead and put this there. I'm going to turn off the light so that way this makes more sense. As you can see, if I put the UV light, the stitching lights up. On real pairs, the stitching is not supposed to light up. If you see stitching lighting up under the UV light, that means you have a fake pair 100%. Another thing right here, you see this? This has like a stamp right here. These are unauthorized pairs. So the authorized pairs aren't supposed to have a stamp on it. It's just supposed to be approved and ready to sell. So these are these little stamps right here that should not be there. You can see it says LG. Let me go ahead and bring it up in the camera a little bit so you can see it. And another area on the shoe that the UV light can be used for is the side. Basically, what you'll see is that the stitching is also lighting up under the UV light as you can see right here you see that pink those pink stitch lines right there those are not supposed to be are not supposed to be there and you can see it on all sides so that just shows that it's 100 percent fake and if you're still not convinced another place that you can look is the tongue where the patch is at as you can see on real pairs the UV light will only light up the top part of the patch this corner right here but for the fake pairs 
the wave part right here will be illuminated as you can see this part will be illuminated but for the real pair only the top part right here should be illuminated and another thing we can use the UV light for is the back for the back of the shoes it's a denim material as opposed to corduroy on the, all the other sides of the shoe and basically the VA and LA this part right here you see how the let me go ahead look back from a distance this part will illuminate blue under the UV light and the real pair will not illuminate at all so if you see the back of the shoe illuminating blue when it's exposed to the light and that means <laughs> there's definitely something very wrong with your pair so you might want to go ahead and look out for that and another thing that you want to look out for is the insole I'm going to turn off this UV light and basically the insole has something very important that you have to look out for and it's the stitching on the bottom of it as you can see right here the stitching it has all these lines in it let me go ahead and focus the stitching has all these lines in it the real pair is just going to be a black circle with a orange ring with nothing with no stitches in the middle but the fake pair has stitches in it so you need to go ahead and do that that's another clear indicator to tell if the shoe is fake or not and yeah let's see what else am I missing and if you look for the real pair the the velour on the inside of the insole it has no wrinkles the real pair should have a whole bunch of wrinkles because velour should never be like this smooth it should have some wrinkles in it alright so something else that I didn't really go over too much in detail was the box because last time I did a real verse fake comparison people were like oh four minutes of box talk and I'm just going over every aspect so don't get your panties in a bunch so basically the lighting in my room is making this look a different color so I, I gotta go ahead and fix the light situation here but even though in the camera the box is all looking red and whatnot and so is the sticker the real the real sticker for the box is supposed to be red and don't let this light fool you that's what makes all these real verse fake compares when people sell stuff online the colors are all different so you can't really tell unless you have it in front of you let me see if I can find a way to manipulate the light where the actual color shows ah, there you go so basically the color for the sticker of the box right here it should be a red instead of an orange and then another thing that you want to look out for is the color coding on the box to be specific what it says and right here it says beige yellow blackish green but the real color and code it should say LT blue fury slash lemon wash that's the actual colors that are on the shoes and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the screen so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about Go ahead, look on the screen, pause the video for a second. Alright, hopefully that gave you enough time to pause. And then another thing that I didn't really mention or go over too much was the uh, the tongue. You know how I said that on the fake pair that this part will illuminate right here, the back tab. On real pairs, the only part, the only tab that should illuminate is right here. And this does not illuminate at all, which which is really weird so the real pair is supposed to illuminate at the tag so that's just something that you need to go over and check let's see is there anything else that I'm missing uh, let's go ahead and do a quick run through oh yeah so normally when you're looking at fakes you want to look at the craftsmanship because usually a lot of the fakes are getting really good so most fakes back in the day if this was like five or six years ago you would see like a whole bunch of like stitch lines coming out of the Nike swoosh but fakes are getting so good that they're literally looking more and more like the real one so if I wore this in public no one would be able to tell that it's fake unless they saw this video and they got up close to your shoes and I'm not knocking anybody that wears fake shoes you do you as long as you're not paying uh, re you're not paying actual resale prices for fake shoes so let's say like a shoe retails for like hundred eighty dollars and then someone tries to sell you that same shoe for like five hundred and you're buying it because it's sold out in your store and it's limited so you don't want to pay five hundred dollars for a shoe that isn't retail you know so this is just for people like that that are buying the shoes online they don't want to get scanned out of their money so let's just go ahead and compare this with a real, a real pair of Air Maxes like look at this fakes are getting so good to the point where like the bodies of the shoe look exactly the same you know what I'm saying like the cut is good I mean the only real difference for this particular model it has an Air Max 1 sole and this is the Air Max 97 sole, so 
your Air Max 197 Sean Witherspoon, they should have an Air Max 1 sole. This is an Air Max 97 sole. This is what a regular Air Max 97 sole looks like. So you go ahead and be wary of that as well. And normally for the soles of the Air Max 97s, the blue is a lot darker. It shouldn't be this light. It's more like a, hmm, not a royal blue, but a little bit lighter than a royal blue. So I'll put the picture on the screen just for comparison so you can see the correct shade that it should be. And yeah, that's pretty much it to wrap it up for the video. But man, it's crazy how fakes are becoming so much, like they're looking more and more like the shoe. Like the body, they have the exact modes. And the reason why it's even considered fake, to be honest, is only because like one is branded and approved by Nike or Jordan retailers. Like in the factory, they have like a approved sticker and then it gets sent off to be sold to retail stores. But they're all coming from the same factory. They're using the same modes. So at the end of the day, it's really if do you really care or are you just buying the shoe because it looks nice. So yeah, uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. Go ahead and follow fake underscore education for more information on fake. Because I can't do a real converse comparison for every single pair because I can't buy every pair. That's what fake underscore education does. Because... He's more for the research. I can't do all that research. So shout out to him for holding it down for everybody that's not trying to get scammed. And uh, that's all for this video. And I'm out. Peace. I ain't really want to do it. I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the